This afternoon we'll be experimenting with uh, recursive modulation and filters, I guess as we part two. Uh, you start up with a knit patch and to create a knit patch you go shift utility, scroll over to a knit sound, hit shift utility, and you can even save it. That's now the knit patch. Like such. I'm going to set the filter envelope first, but I won't be using it until afterwards. You'll see what I mean. I'm going to set the attack to 48, to the K to 48, the release to about 82. Amplitude release to 64. I'm going to write a modifier for the filter. So on modifier 1, I'm going to say filter envelope X or plus 9. For now, I'm going to disable the filter, but it will come back into play. I'm going to go to oscillator 1. Change it to pulse, leave it at 8 foot. I'm going to detune it a couple of notches. Take the pulse width all the way down to zero. And we'll set this to filter envelope. If I can find it. Plus 56. Let's see what we get. Very short, short, sharp attack. Now I'm going to recursively modify that. Go to an open slot. I'm going to say modifier one. Controls. Filter envelope. Attack. Plus 48. Let's hear what that does. Okay. We'll take another modifier, or the same modifier, and apply it to filter decay, plus 48. Pulse width is being recursively modulated by the filter envelope, which, well, the filter envelope is controlling the pulse width, and the filter envelope is being recursively modulated by the modifier, which is modifier 1 here, which is filter envelope XOR plus 9. That's semi randomly chosen, but you got to play around with stuff. Now, let's add a second oscillator. Detune it up plus 2. Take a triangle wave, bring it down to 16 foot. Take the volume down to about 48. Now the filter is still disabled. Soon that will change. Let's bring the filter into play. Go back, set the key track to 100%. Set the resonance to about 42. Set the type to 12 dB, low pass. And set the amount to about 56. You can probably hear that recursively modulated filter. Do some more stuff to this. Um, before I bring in stereo, I'm going to write a pseudo modifier here. 
on Mod Slot 5. One thing as a left-handed keyboard player is I like the bass to be louder than the treble. So I'm going to say key track on Mod Slot 5, controls, M1 amount. Then on Mod Slot 1, I'm going to say filter envelope. Controls, O1, volume. Then over back on 5, I set it to minus 52. Now there's still too much triangle because that's not being attenuated. So on mod, sl mod slot six, I'm gonna say key track, controls, M2 amount. Then on mod slot two, I'm gonna say filter envelope, controls, O2 level. And I take that down minus 52 as well. This really only works if using the filter envelope to attenuate. For example, uh, if you were setting your volumes other ways, it may not work as effectively, but here it will. Okay, let's stereotize it. Go to filter one. Take pan and set it to unisono. Take the pan amount to minus 64. On the oscillator common page, I'm going to set unisono to 2. I'm going to leave the detune to 0 because I'm going to be bringing my pitch in a different way. And we'll start doing that. Right now, you're going to hear but there's no detuning via unisono yet, so we got to write that up. For LFO 1, go to sample and hold. Let's pick a rate of, say, 68. LFO 2, sample and hold. Let's pick a speed of about 48. Let's create some uh, lag generators. So an open slot. I'm going to say LFO1 controls envelope 3 sustain and crank it all the way up on mod slot 12 have LFO2 controls envelope 4 sustain and crank it up. And over here, I'm going to have envelope 3 controlling 01 pitch, leave it at 0 for now. And over here, I'm going to have envelope 4 controlling 02 pitch, and leave it at 0 for now because I have to now lag these. Envelope 3 takes the sustained out of 0. Good lag, say about there. This is all randomized because that's what you're looking for is random. Not, It's not scientific. Sustain. Move to the cage or about whatever. There. Sure, sure that's fine. And let's start bringing this in. First we're bringing in excessive amounts. And then we'll chill it down to something more usable. So that is a sample and hold being lagged. So if I go to envelope three, hear that? That's the full effect. And that's it being lagged. Let's take it down to a more usable plus 12. So oscillator one is done.
Now let's do the same thing to envelope four. Can't really hear it because it's a triangle and it's lower. That says they're about there. And set that down to a negative amount. This is basically done. Whoops, I must have done something bad here. Yes. Take that to a negative amount. Okay. There we go. That should sound fine. Let's stereotize it some more. Let's say unisono. Controls. F1. Attack. Now the right channel is coming in before the left channel. Let's throw some FM onto it. Oscillator 3 set to 1. And that is it. That's the end of the tutorial. That's the mono tribe, by the way. Take care.